In the last lesson, we learned that capacitors are used to store electrical charge in what is called an E-field, or electricity field. In this lesson, we will take a look at the electrical component called the inductor and what their similarities and differences are to capacitors. Like capacitors, inductors store electrical charge. However, the inductor stores this charge in an electromagnetic field formed around the inductor. In modern electronics, inductors are most frequently used as noise-canceling components and as part of oscillating circuits for wireless products. Since the inductor stores electrical charge in the form of a magnetic field, we should be able to build an electromagnet with only a few components. Let's experiment and try to build an electromagnet. Here I have a battery, a piece of wire, and a bolt. Again, the goal of this experiment is to make an electromagnet that can pick up some pieces of wire through magnetic attraction from the inductor. First, let's bend the wire so that it is completely straight. Next, we'll wrap the wire round and round the bolt, creating a nice inductor coil. Now, let's connect the wire to the positive and negative terminals of the battery. And when we move our tiny electromagnet over the small magnetic pieces of wire, they are attracted to it and stick. Now let's take a closer look at exactly what is happening when electrical current flows through an inductor. When DC electricity begins to flow through the inductor, it slowly charges, creating a stronger and stronger electromagnetic field. When the electromagnetic field is finished growing, electrical current flows more normally and the inductor begins to behave more like a small resistor. A unique quality of inductors is that the value or strength of the inductor can be increased by thousands of times simply by putting iron or ferrite, like a screw or bolt, in the middle of the coil. Here you can see the coil made in the previous experiment. It works as an electromagnet, however when the bolt is removed from the middle, it still has some strength as an electromagnet, however it has been dramatically reduced and can no longer attract the small pieces of wire. You can find many different types of inductors in the world of modern electronics. Here are a few of the most common. Variable inductors. the standard air coil inductor, a toroid core inductor, an inductor choke. These two are through-hole inductor chokes. And these three small guys are surface mount inductors. Let's wander into some inductor theory and learn how to find out what inductor has what inductance value and how inductors fit in with voltage and current. To start, electrical inductance is measured in Henry's, just like the name Henry, and the unit used is the capital letter H. For example, 2.2 microhenries or a 2200 nanohenries inductor is a common value used in electronics. For a standard air coil inductor, the relationship between electrical voltage, current, and inductance is given by a single formula. Voltage equals inductance, the letter L, di over dt, as current changes with time. This formula is part of the basics of electrical circuit theory for inductors, but don't worry about memorizing or using it for this lesson. Let's take a look at a few inductors. The air coil inductor, surface mount inductors, and choke inductor are all unknown values, 
and unfortunately the only way to find out their inductance value is to measure it with an inductance meter. However, this through-hole inductor is in fact labeled with colors just like a resistor. If we take a closer look at the colors and follow the chart seen on the left, we can find the significant figures, multiplier, and tolerance of the inductor very quickly. 47 microhenry times 0 0.1 plus or minus 5% is yellow, violet, gold, gold. The resulting number for this type of capacitor is always in microhenry or higher. And so this is a 4.7 microhenry plus or minus 5% inductor based off of the color code chart. The circuit symbol to represent a standard inductor air coil looks like this squiggly line. If the inductor has a ferrite core, we add a dual dotted line on top of the inductor. And if the inductor has an iron core, like the electromagnet in our experiment, we add two solid lines. There are actually many different types of inductor circuit symbols, from variable inductors to transformers, but for now, just remember the basic inductor circuit symbol and be aware that many, many other inductor symbols do exist. Inductors are not as commonly seen in modern electronics when compared to resistors or capacitors. This just means their role is very unique and not generic like resistors. If we take a look inside of this wireless mouse, you can see right away the air coil inductor. It's a generic air coil inductor used as part of the wireless transmitter circuit, and most wireless mice have them. Looking at one more example, here is a remote control for an RC car. If we take a look inside, there are through-hole inductors near the antenna. These inductors actually have color labels, so we can tell what their inductance values are. All parts in this online course were provided by the Gadgetory. Visit them at gadgetory.com slash pyroedu. Thank you for watching an introduction to modern electronics, the inductor. If you're ready for more, please continue on to learn about the diode. Or you can go back and study more about the capacitor.